Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode. I have a special guest with me today who is the director of field development in, and a co-founder of Kingdom Alliance, Mo Molly Trotter Gomez. Hi, Molly. Hi, Lisa. So good to be here. Yes, you and I have become well acquainted and friends over the last few years as I have partnered and come into the community of Kingdom Alliance as one of the founding ambassadors. And so I'm excited today to talk about this new course that it's launching and who who would be the ideal people to take this and who it's for. So before we do that, though, I want to just give you guys a background who Molly is. Molly is a former anchor woman and a just an influencer on social media. She is a wonderful lover of Jesus and just a really wealth of information, but also inspiration. So I know you're going to love her. So Molly, tell me a little bit about what was it that prompted you, first of all, to create this course? Oh, gosh, I'm going to give you the short version, Lisa, because over the years when I became an entrepreneur, I just saw so many people struggle when it comes to just opening up conversation, just having regular conversation with people. It just it doesn't have to be weird, doesn't have to be spammy, just in general. Um, and I'm speaking in the business sense. But even when you think about it, just in general, just talking with people like so, so often people are like, I don't even know what to say. So it really came from a place of here's how you can lead the conversation, the art of networking, which definitely is a lost art <laughs> and how you can really just leave people better when you found them and being bold, being bold in what it is that you want to share with them, what you're doing to serve them and coming off in a way where you are an authority in that space, not pushy or spammy in how you present um, what it is that you do. So it's a lot of years of just coming together, putting it in a four week course, which is going to go by very quickly. But I'm very excited for those that are saying yes to it because they're in for a ride to really transform how they can connect with other people. You know, I love what you said there about being bold, yet not pushy or spammy, because sometimes people think that those are one and the same, right? In terms of being bold in, in just declaring what it is that that you offer or the solution that you're providing. So tell me a little bit about where some people get hung up when it comes to this whole area of networking. Ooh, I mean, I think really at the end of the day, they put themselves before the other person, truthfully, mm -hmm. because it's either they're scared, which I get it. Sometimes it can be scary yeah. or just I really need to make this sale and I need to make this money. So they put themselves before the other person rather than how can I ask enough questions to get to know the other person to then them, they're going to tell on themselves what it is that they're looking for, what it is that they need. Um, so then you can guide them on what be, what may be a best fit. Plus um, other people will just go in and say, no matter what, I think you'd be a fit for what it is that I have or what it is that I'm selling, which isn't always the case. Um, sometimes, you know, on a lot of networking calls, actually, I haven't even, I haven't even touched on business at all because it just wasn't the right time. And I've done enough mm -hmm. networking calls to know there is a right time. And it's not always the first time that you talk to them. So true. It's so true because, uh, sometimes people expect you to lead with that. Like if they know that you're, that you're, that you're working with a company or that you're involved in the company, they'll expect that that coming first out of your mouth or being the sole purpose of why you're reaching out and really reframing that to, to look at it as, no, we're building relationship here and we're seeing whether or not there's a solution that is, but also just getting to love the person and to yeah. learn about what they're doing, I think is the biggest thing is coming from a place of love, right? Because sometimes love is, no, this is not a good fit for you. So I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> love also can be bold, being bold, because at the end of the day, I know a lot of women, particularly where they're like, I can't ask the question, you know, right? Like, are you ready to get started? Is this for you? Like, are you ready to make it happen? They get nervous. And if you're nervous asking that, then the other person's going to feel like, okay, well, maybe this isn't a fit and it's a no for me, even if they had the money, even if they were ready. It's how you show like your authority and your confidence. And I am the one to lead you. Also, mm -hmm. I also want to add this on there inside of this course at the very end, how to be a, a great networker, um, turning into a referral partner. If you're networking with Beautiful. people all the time, you may not need what they have, but when you become really good at networking and connecting with people, you may be connected with others that need what somebody has and it has no benefit to you. Now I used to be somebody that would get referrals all the time, like get referral payouts for connecting people all the time. Now I'm just like, no, you can keep that. That's totally fine. Like keep it. No worries. Here you go. I'm happy to connect the two of you. Some people yeah. are like, no, I'm adamant. And so I'm like, whatever it is that you want to do. But ultimately my heart is, 
I may have connected with this person just to connect them with so-and-so and let God do the rest. And so how to be really a valuable connection to somebody by being a valuable connector is huge. I love that because that really speaks to the whole abundant mindset as well, right? Just really spreading the love around. I remember I had been on a podcast as a guest with this woman that I never knew before, but after I was on her after I was on her show, then I started getting these messages from her say, Hey, Lisa, I want to introduce you to this person. I think they will be a great refer for, and it was just like nonstop. I'm like, wow. Yes. Those are the <laughs> best is- because you, you lead with such heart, Lisa, and you're just so likable. <laughs> so it's hard not to be like, who do you need to connect with? So I, I love being able to do that because then people don't feel weird and icky. And I can tell right off the bat, like when I set up a networking call, I see the wall. And then all of a sudden, it's like, how how fast can I get that wall to come down? Not to manipulate and to get them to do what I want. I want you to hear me on that. It's how can I make them feel comfortable and to know that I actually really am there for them. And most of the time on like a 30-minute networking call, some people will take 20 minutes to talk about themselves. And they're like, I've been doing all the talking. What about you? Inside of this course, I actually have something where it's going to really help you be very succinct on when it's your turn. How can you just hit right at the the, the points that they need to hear mm-hmm. based on what you know about them now to give them the information they need? So they're like, well, wait, I need that. So almost mm-hmm. a nine out of 10, when I've used this or other people that I've taught have used this, it's almost a nine out of 10. Somebody's like, well, I would love more information on that. Or yes, I do know people because you took the time to listen. Plus you were so succinct on um, what you shared with them about what it is that you do, that it's kind of hard not to say, yes, I want to learn more. <laughs> so good. So learning to be a good listener is yeah. what I hear you say. <laughs> yes. Yes. So tell me, tell me why you call it grow your network to increase your net worth. Yes. I think <laughs> the, that is a great question. Actually, no one's asked me that yet. So like I mentioned in the beginning, networking is a lost art. A lot of people are just like, oh, just post on social media and whoever comments, maybe they want to do business with me. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily work that way all the mm-hmm. time, unless you have a really, really big audience and you've been nurturing for a long time. Um, but even then, like, go be intentional. So when you grow your network, that means more eyeballs on what it is that you have, mm-hmm. what you're posting, being consistent, putting your content out there. So there is a there is a direct correlation most of the time when you have a bigger mm-hmm. network, an engaged network, one that you've built because you've made connections, that can mm-hmm. translate into growing your net worth. Because you never know, depending on what it is that you do, whether it's network marketing, coaching, affiliate marketing, um, investments. I mean, I've met some, I've had some very profitable business deals off of people that I've met on social media through connections. Like that is, that is huge. And so you never know if it's going to be that person or they're connected with somebody, Mm -hmm. but I treat everybody as if they're like A plus, right? On the grading scale. Uh, because people should be treated that way, number one. But number two, you never know who they're connected to. So it, your network can translate into your net worth growing. It's just, you know, how do you want to utilize your social media, which is your billboard, in yes. order to speak to those people? It's so true. I, I'm just thinking of the the famous quote by Jim Rohn, who said that you are the, what is the actual quote? Basically, you are the sum of all uh, five people that you spend most time with. So not only in terms of being able to do business with the people in your network, but also being able to glean and grow so that you can go to the next level, even in your net worth by being around people who are bigger thinkers, like-minded, and maybe have ideas and things that really help you to get to the next level. So it also feeds into that aspect as well. Right. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. I mean, I want to be surrounded by people who Mm -hmm. really at the end of the day, I don't want to be the smartest person in the room. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I actually want to be on the lower of the totem pole so I can just be a sponge and absorb. But honestly, even if you were higher on the totem pole in the room, Mm -hmm. you can still learn from anyone. I'm constantly having my ear tuned to be like, okay, what can I get from this? How can I benefit? Because Mm -hmm. everybody's story matters. And so some people have that ear and, and some don't. But like you said, It's about being a good listener. That is a huge piece of the pie. (laughs) It's so true. And that's one of the things that I love about Kingdom Alliance is that it is a very rich community. We do learn so much from each other. And we have opportunities to learn from each other because of the interactive programs that we have and and just the weekly opportunities that we get to have to get on good on Zoom or or even in-person events that are going on on a regular basis. So who would you say this course is for? 
Gosh, I mean, primarily who it was made for is for people who have an online business of any kind. If you if you do sales of any kind on your social media, anything at all, which is pretty much everybody these days, this is for mm -hmm. you. Everybody needs to have these different kinds of conversations. How do you not be weird? How do you be more impactful and really see people? Because at the end of the day, there's bots for everything. And people can mm -hmm. see through if it is a bot or just a repeated message rather than, okay, well, this person didn't even find it being worth their time to reach out and send something specific. Mm -hmm. And I get it. In a world of automation, there is a time and a place to use it but you cannot automate relationships. So Thank people you. in business, any type of business of any kind, um, if you have anything online, or honestly, you could use this in person as well. So it's just business owners in general. And I've even had people, can somebody who's not a business owner that just wants to grow their network just because they wanna have more intentional friends, can they mm -hmm. come in and utilize this? Absolutely, but it, ear, it is geared towards more if you have something to share with them, but you can use these same principles and even this custom like right to the point script that I created of like anything that you would need to say in that conversation that can be used for whether you're developing a, a friendly network or a business one. Awesome. So it's very practical and very purposeful is what I hear you saying. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> awesome. And so when does this course launch? When's the start date? Yes. Yeah, so it's going to be um, Friday, November 1st. It starts. Um, it's four weeks. It's going to start at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. So it is going to whoosh, shoot on by. And what's really cool is inside Kingdom Alliance, we have um, Radiant Leadership coaches that now are able to teach this course. So once they go through it, anybody that goes through our coaching certification mm -hmm. program, not only have the Radiant Leadership Academy that they can teach, there's a couple others, including this grow your network to increase your net worth. So the beautiful part about that, just to cast a little vision, it's not just me mm -hmm. teaching it. Other people are going out there doing it and they're able to teach it, which is true discipleship. And that is a big piece of one reason a lot of people love coming here to Kingdom Alliance. I love that. I'm taking it because I want to also teach it. <laughs> so I'm going to learn from Molly Trotter Gomez in this first round. And so if you're listening today and you think, oh, wow, this is something that I really need to learn how to do, build better relationships online, know how to communicate, know how to listen know how to lead people into maybe decisions that they need to make that are best for them, then I want to strongly encourage you to put down below wherever you're watching this video, the word net, and I will follow up with a link for you to register and get started right away. And it's four weeks of training that could actually change the trajectory, not only of your life, your business and your whole future. So I wanna encourage you, even if you wanna explore it, just put the word net down below and I'll follow up and get you all the resources that you need. Any last words, Molly, before we end out here today? No, I, other than thank you for having me, Lisa. I'm excited to serve all the people that are in the class. It is it is a growing class for sure for this first one, but I'm very excited because people are wanting to know what to say. They are ready. So we are ready for you. Comment net below. And again, thank you for having me. You're most welcome. Thank you, Molly. Bye, everyone.